Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, exciting as always, because, um, so since my page started to grow, I had a few people reach out to me if I wanted to use their product, if they, if they could send some products to me for me to review it and um, maybe make a picture of video with it or something. Um, but it's never been brands that I maybe knew or were familiar with up until today. So, um, a few weeks ago, Happy Socks contacted me. Now, I'm sure that you have heard of it, maybe have Happy Socks, or have ever bought it as a present for someone, because at some point they were like a massive hype. Um, but yeah, they're still out there, still doing great. And yeah, they reached out to me if I wanted to um, try out their Halloween box. Me. So of course I said yes, I signed up for the program and um, yeah, I got it in today, so let's check it out. great like I'm, I'm so happy so I've looked on their website and they're not on there yet but I'm sure as Halloween comes closer because obviously like now it's not even October yet so it's a bit early um, so I'm sure it's gonna go on the website by the time it's starting to get Halloween but yeah so that's the package I got so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna create a makeup um, based on it so I wanted to do because I got three pairs, I wanted to do three makeups. Obviously I'm not going to do that all in one video because that would be a bit too long. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with the first one because it's a challenge. <laughs> Let me explain. So it's a skull, there's some spider webs and there's orange. So... <sighs> I feel stupid because I feel like a lot of people do um, skull makeups on Halloween because it's like a basic Halloween thing and it's simple and easy to do. I have major issues with it. I just I just look at it and find it extremely difficult looking. So I think I've drawn it once or twice on someone and I thought that was like it went well but I felt like I was lucky. So yeah it's it's a challenge today. I just feel like that's my brain just can't draw a skull or something. So well but that was a year ago so maybe <laughs> I have grown and um, maybe I can do it now. Again, don't look at my hair, it's um, just bleached, so I know it looks ridiculous, I'm about to die, so shut your faces. Okay, so let me just put my socks on and let's get started. Okay, so I quickly already did my eyebrows and um, some base, so we can get started. I'm going to start with my eyes because I feel like if I do the skull first, because I'm going to do the half face as you saw, um, I feel like if I do that first and then do my eyes and then it's going to be all ruined. So we're going to start with the eyes. So the palette I'm going to use for that is my Makeup Revolution so so uh, Extra Spice palette. Okay. Gonna start off with running late. Now I'm going in with sweet and sour. Then I'm going to use chocolate orange. To kind of like build up. I'm going to take my concealer, which is the Cut Crease Canvas Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base from Makeup Revolution. And we are going to cut the crease. Then I'm going to take my Hello Cosmetics uh, Universal Palette and I'm going in and 
corner of my eye with the white. Then I'm taking back my Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going in with Vitamin C. And I'm going in with Running Late again. Then Sweet and Sour. And I'm going back with my Hello Universal palette palette and I'm taking the black over here and I'm going in in that little corner yep that's it and then you're just gonna do the same at the under eye but I'm gonna leave the white out gonna do my left eye hopefully the same and uh, I'll be back okay um, this uh, definitely there was there went something went wrong there but um, yeah well <laughs> okay so now the real work's gonna start <laughs> okay I am just gonna wing it and try something and we'll see what happens okay, I'm first gonna put some um, foundation on and then I'm going to wipe off where I'm going to do the skull. So I'm using my Essence Soft Touch Most Makeup. I really love working with this product. Make some contour and I'm using the 035 Universal Bronze from Catrice. Okay. So I guess um that's about right. I feel like the orange from the 35B from Morphe is like quite a good one, so I don't know if this is gonna take good on pigment, but we'll find out in a minute. Now I'm going to take my, my Paradise Black from Maron. Lashes, I'm gonna use um, well, basically my all time favorite from uh, Q. I don't know if they have a brand or something, they're just really cheap, but I'll link it down below in case you're wondering. I just wish my hair wasn't so ugly right now. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done. I'm really living for the eyes. Do you understand why I love these eyelashes? I mean, 
Hello. So, I cut my hand off. That was the skull look. I uh, would say this is not a perfect skull, but like I said in the beginning of the video, like it, it, I just find it really hard. So I think with saying that, that I haven't done too bad. So I think I've done a pretty good job recreating a look that fits the socks. Okay, um, I, I like it actually, I do. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that was the first makeup we've done of Happy Socks. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do the other ones, but I'm glad, like, I'm, I really want to. So stay tuned for the other sock videos. Um, and yeah, for now, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Halloween looks. Also, don't forget to check out my um, Instagram. It's the Zoo Stewart and an underscore. And you'll see lots of um, makeups that I haven't done here because I don't film everything. But I always post my pictures there. Also, definitely don't forget to like this picture and a short video that I'm going to post. And um, yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.